We have all heard of Lil Wayne. He's undoubtedly an icon in the rap and hip-hop world, and almost pioneered the use of auto-tune within the rap world especially. However, it seems as though he has caused waves within the community and has burned bridges with a few fellow rappers. So in today's video, we wanted to delve into the reason behind why rappers are really scared of Lil Wayne, and why they don't want to associate with him in the long run. If that sounds interesting, then make sure to stick around till the end for all the juicy details. Don't be afraid to interact with us. Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks. Beef with 50 Cent Lil Wayne began his career at a very early age of 8 and later signed with Cash Money Records. Wayne saw his career peak in the early 2000s with their collaborative project Like Father Like Son with Birdman, real name Brian Christopher Williams as both his mentor and father figure. According to Billboard, his solo projects such as the Carter series were also a record success. Wheezy's career hit a low point after he released his rock album Rebirth in 2010, which received negative reviews from critics such as Pitchfork. In terms of his relationship with Birdman, the two got into a nasty legal squabble over Wayne's album The Carter Five. While this may appear to be Lil Wayne's most well-known beef, it was far from his first. In 2007, the Young Money CEO had a verbal altercation with 50 Cent. 50 Cent spent his time trolling celebrities on the internet with petty jokes and snide comments when he isn't busy being the executive producer and star of Star's Power series. Much hasn't changed since 2007, when 50 was interviewed by Funkmaster Flex and had a lot to say about Lil Wayne. According to Lil Wayne HQ, when Flex asked what he thought about Lil Wayne's frequent appearances on other other artists' projects, 50 said he had good verses, but he was way too willing to work with anyone. The rapper continued, stating, A sleeps with whoever will pay him, so we gotta call him one if he'll just go with whoever pays him to be on their records, 50 Cent remarked. He makes those records good. It's just that he works with anybody. He kinda gotta make it an event. The feud intensified when MTV named Lil Wayne the number one rapper on their list of the hottest MCs in the game in 2008. 50 Cent was dissatisfied with the news and had some questions about MTV's top picks. Hands down, when you look at the stats and who generates the most interest and who's moving the most CDs, I was supposed to be one of the guys on top, if not the top guy, 50 told the outlet. But they were saying he's number one because we want people to like Lil Wayne, whoever's making the decisions inside the room. Sure, people were feeling him, but those were his performances on someone else's record. According to online sources, when Wayne finally responded, he took 50's words as a compliment. I admire him. I simply accepted it as a compliment. I'd never go back at 50. He's a billionaire. I'm working hard to get there, homie. I'm not stupid. I'm smart. After years of hurling insults at one another, Lil Wayne and 50 Cent appeared to have settled their differences. The two rappers have socialized with each other on occasion since their feud. According to Variety, 50 Cent sent well wishes to Lil Wayne after he suffered two seizures on a plane in October of 2012. Although this beef was eventually squashed, this isn't the case with his other feuds. Let's take a look. Beef with Jay-Z Birdman disputed the MTV poll that named Jay-Z the hottest MC in the game in a 2009 interview with Tropical TV, claiming that Lil Wayne was a better rapper and that he made more money. When Jay-Z and Kanye West released their single H.A.M. in early 2011, Jay-Z mocked Birdman, saying, Really? You got baby money? And you ain't got my ladies money. On the 24th of August 2011, a song titled It's Good by Lil Wayne, featuring Drake and Jada Kiss, was leaked online, with Lil Wayne responded, talking about baby money, I've got some cash for you, baby. Get your B kidnapped. How much do you love your lady? Money. Jada Kiss later disavowed any involvement in the brewing feud on his official Twitter account. Beef with Juvenile Wayne began beefing with former Hot Boys member and Cash Money Records label mate Juvenile in 2012, when Juvenile took offense to Carter's naming his third studio album 500 Degrees, a dig at Juvenile's previous album 400 Degrees. Juvenile responded with a diss track titled A 
on his 2012 album 600 Degrees. Juvenile questions Carter's sexuality and claims he's a phony gangster in the song. Carter and Birdman temporarily put an end to their feud in 2004 when they appeared in the music video for Juvenile and Soldier Slim Slow Motion. Carter later paid tribute to the Hot Boys on The Carter in 2004 with a song called I Miss My Dogs. Juvenile responded by labeling the song fake and criticizing Carter for releasing a tribute song and later promoting the album on BET with nothing good to say about them. Juvenile eventually reconciled and he re-signed with Cash Money Records in 2014. As you can see, Lil Wayne is no stranger to beef with fellow rappers, which is part of the reason why other rappers now tend to steer clear of him. Additionally, his use of auto-tune has consistently been controversial and meant a lot of rappers didn't want to be associated with that. Beef with Pusha T Pusha T was a member of the Clips group with his brother, No Malice, before becoming a solo artist. Lil Wayne and Baby appeared on the remix of Clips' Grindin' in 2002. Pusha and No Malice also appeared on a Birdman song, What Happened to That Boy, which was produced by the Neptunes, long-time Clips collaborators. This is when Wayne and Pusha problems began. Darden explained on the show that the Neptunes were never paid for their work with Birdman, which led to Pharrell refusing to work with Birdman's label, Cash Money Records. Wayne and Pusha continued to trade subtle jabs in the years that followed, but it was Pusha T's 2012 Drake diss, Exodus 23-1, that put any doubts to rest. Pusha clearly went after Wayne and Cash Money Records in the song, talking about how he signs with label after label, dissing how he can't stay with one. Following that, Wayne responded with a tweet that said, F Pusha T and everybody who loves him. He also released his own Pusha T diss track, Ghoulish, which quoted the tweet and expanded on its message. Fast forward eight years, and the rapper's feud is still but forgotten, at least according to Wayne. Beef with Young Buck Young Buck's song Off Parole, which featured Tony Yayo, was an insult to Lil Wayne. Wayne couldn't be angry, according to Young Buck, because Young Buck told the truth. You think you got a problem with Juve and BG, you'll have a real problem with me, Young Buck said, referring to the Cash Money slash Juvenile BG feud. 50 Cent stated that one of the reasons he was dismissing Young Buck was his inconsistent behavior, which included appearing on stage with Wayne and then seemingly dissing him on records with G-Unit. Following his dismissal, Young Buck appeared in the game's music video My Life, which featured Lil Wayne on vocals. As of 2009, Young Buck and Carter have resolved their feud and collaborated on the song Ups and Downs for Young Buck's Back on My Buck mixtape. As you can see, all of these beefs and feuds seem to have one thing in common. They are all business-related and seem to highlight that Lil Wayne is willing to work with anyone despite the uproar it could cause. This seems to be the theme with Lil Wayne, and why some rappers question his loyalty and his work ethic. Regardless, Lil Wayne is smart, and by working with a range of different rappers and being involved in public ongoing feuds has helped him to keep his name in the spotlight and in people's mouths.